Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today we're doing something a little bit different. We're doing another little reaction video. We're going to be reacting to this man who is a little bit too attracted to balloons. Uh, now that I think about it, maybe this isn't the best outfit for this video. I I'm going to change real quick and I'll be back. No, I'm just kidding. That wasn't me. It was a trick. That was the balloon. Very attractive. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Let's see this guy's story. My name is Julius. Okay, I'm Julius. Years old. Cleaning his pool. Jesus, doing well. Oh, that's a lot of balloons. <laughs> oh, that's a lot more balloons than I thought. And I don't know why. Maybe because my mind was on Balloon Boy over here. I wasn't really thinking of actual balloons. I, I kind of forgot. They're beautiful. They're soft. I mean, smooth. They're delicate. I have a. I mean. Like, I don't know what I say beautiful. They look nice, I guess. Delicate. I have a connection. Oh my god, that's so cinematic. Hold on, let me just... <laughs> that is so cinematic. Look at that. That's so romantic. I, I'm rooting for them, personally. I have a connection with them. Intellectually, I know that balloons yeah, are not Yeah, I, I know what he means. The, the, like, static you feel when you pick up balloons. You do feel a bit of a spark. But sometimes I wonder if it's my love for them that brings them to life. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> It's just sitting there smiling. You know, already, and this might sound weird, but I'm happy for them. And I mean that genuinely. He's not hurting anyone. Like, if, if he loves his balloons, he loves his balloons. Wow, balloons. That's kind of strange. <laughs> you shouldn't talk about your aunt slash uncle like that. <laughs> and I'm not talking about the dude. I'm talking about the balloon. Be nice to your balloon-in-law. I like the crystal clear, the, the transparent. You know, it's like a soap bubble. You know, you can see through it. I, I've got... Why did they have to do them dirty like that? Like, the... <laughs> This, this is not creepy. Well, like this scene isn't creepy, but then they put that horror music in there. Listen. You know, you can see through it. I, I've got the long ones, the round ones. It sounds so eerie. Like a guy that prefers blondes or brunettes, you know? <laughs> I love him already. He's great. What's he? Well, he's not hurting anyone. If anything, he's just helping the balloon industry, which must be struggling these days. Come on. We've gotten sick of them. They're boring. Sorry, <laughs> I don't mean that's not personally against you or anything. This is my balloon sanctuary. I have a uh, magenta. He's living the dream. Like if we take out the part, the sexually attracted the balloons part, he has a balloon sanctuary in his house. What kid doesn't want that? Like you grow up and you actually deliver on that promise to your child self to have a balloon sanctuary. I don't have many white ones, but I try to put the white ones in there. Like there's a white one over there. There it is. Good eye, good eye. That's a good spot. One of my favorite balloons is the weather balloon. Ah, uh, come on, dude. You can't just hold a weather balloon in your room. That thing deserves to be outdoors and live free. You can't hold it captive like it's some sort of balloon zoo. For me, it's the bigger, the better. Of course, I can't get it. Hey, size isn't supposed to matter. It's not the size of the balloon. It's the... <laughs> I'm going to stop right there, actually. Like, the title implies this is about to get a whole lot worse. An eight-foot balloon in this room, so I, I settle for the five-foot. Uh, you know, weather balloon. I guess you can say it's more to love. <laughs> <laughs> the big balloon, it's more to love. Oh, you're gonna take me home tonight. But Julius's obsession with no. balloons oh, goes God. beyond yeah. shapes and colors. Yeah, it's about to get worse. My love for balloons, it's also a sexual love. No! Oh, oh I see a, a beautiful balloon. They keep doing dirty with, with the music. <laughs> No, this is so much weirder all of a sudden. I didn't think it would get this weird this fast. It's just he started talking about how he was sexually attracted to them. And then he starts pulling these faces and the music starts and they show a balloon being inflated, which on its own is fine. But in this context, seems really wrong all of a sudden. I'll take a 12 inch and I'll inflate it to 11 inch. What? That way it can take a lot of abuse. Oh, that's it. No more of this for you. It's your bedtime. I'll bring him back in afterwards. That was just getting too inappropriate for a balloon of his age. Like, I just blew him up this morning. I'm holding one, you know, hugging it. I'll kiss it. And it's like being in heaven. I mean, don't you like to hug and kiss the woman that you love? I'm not seeing the correlation here. <laughs> Lunar's a nickname for people. Wait, this is a common thing? Well, when I say common, there's more than one. <laughs> Lunar, a person with a balloon fed. Well, there you go. Is there any more? Wait, May 11th, word of the day, compost me. A euphemism for kill me, what? 
<laughs> I've never heard that. All right, keep going down. Lunar, sexual deviant, with a penchant for balloons. All right, it's just good to know. I like to expand my vocabulary every day if I can. That's not the word of day. I feel like a bit of a loony <laughs> for watching this in the first place. There's lots of people out there that feel the same way as I oh, do. Oh, no, is that balloons. feet? But there's two oh, that's feet. Okay. All right, didn't need to see that. That get aroused by popping balloons. And wait, if there's some that are aroused by popping balloons and like this guy seems to be in love with balloons, like does that offend him? Like genuinely, I'm not being weird. I'm like actually wondering. Since then, the sound of a balloon popping devastates Julius. Wait, oh, he doesn't like the popping. Okay, he hates popping. He's balloons he believes to be in danger. Oh, he rescues the balloons. Oh my God. I can't tell if this guy's just the purest person to ever exist. Like he's going around saving balloons. I'll take a 12 inch and I'll inflate it to 11 inch. That way you can take a lot of abuse. Do what I call a balloon rescue. A balloon when they rescue. Set them out early in the morning, they're really beautiful. And as Wait, the sun- Wait, but you can't uh, just take them, on, right? They get really dull, uh, misshapen. I feel, you know, like I give him a second chance at life. Oh, he's saving the balloons. He's going in buying balloons. Imagine working there and then you've been selling this guy balloons for the past two years every day. And you're like, that's weird. He must have like some grandkids or something that really love balloons. And then you see this on the television. You're like, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. The only people that know him is my family. My wife thinks it's strange. My wife? Wait, where is the wife? And she refused to be in it. His wife? I was but he was saying he sleeps in his balloon fort every night. Where does she sleep? Is she allowed in the balloon fort also? It looked like a one person balloon fort to me. It just had the bed and then surrounded by balloons. And I think if you're not into balloons, it would be pretty uncomfortable. They probably make noise. They, uh, every now and again, one will pop randomly. Like the balloon fort on the surface seems like fun, but I don't think it would be. Julius wife refused to participate in filming. Why are you phrasing it this way? Like you're, you're almost shaming her for not participating. Like I don't blame her. The fact that he feels like he has to keep it a secret uh, definitely points that there is a, a, a problem. It's weird though because they're like uh, there's a problem because he's he's keeping it a secret so obviously he's ashamed but yet we're watching it right now on what has been shown on television so he's he's not that ashamed like maybe it's just not come up how does the conversation get to that normally like oh hey Julius was that his name I can't remember meet any nice balloons recently like unless you have insider information this just isn't gonna come up a little talk about your balloons uh -huh. about your balloon room so what kind of questions do you have <laughs> well why why do you have a balloon room what what's going on here i heard that there was a some physical attachment to these balloons oh this must be so uncomfortable like this is his nephew He's talking to his uncle about this. I And uh, from the sounds of it, he didn't tell his nephew. He heard about this. Probably the, the film crew calling around his family like, Hey, did you know that he has like a thing for balloons? Want to be on TV? It might make good TV. You want to come on TV? <laughs> That's how I feel like it must have happened. There's sexual overtones to it. No. Oh, they're family. <laughs> this is so uncomfortable. Go to another doctor. I like this guy's apparently got some qualifications. Whether they say he was so an addiction counselor he's an addiction counselor that's a bit convenient but like uh, even though he's an addiction counselor it might be easier to talk to someone he not in his immediate family because th this looks so uncomfortable is it a smell or a feel it's all of it it's all of it it's feel, oh this is smell. so uncomfortable and i don't want to go any further into that i mean i don't think there's anywhere else to go you said it everything <laughs> i don't what else can you say ointment my butt if you feel like it you have to keep things hidden especially something like this, there's obviously a problem. Yeah, but he's on television doing it, so he's not keeping it hidden, is he? His wife is keeping it hidden. Why not go to her and say, you obviously have a problem. You're not coming on television and uh, confronting this issue. You obviously have a problem. What is wrong with you? <laughs> you know, I started when I was about eight. Okay, all right. So you're 62 now, so that's what? 40, 54 40 years? years? Oh, okay. Wow. Was I wrong? Wait, eight and he's 62, 50. Yeah, I'm right. Wait, 40. What? <laughs> Hold on a second. As bizarre as it is, like I've, I've seen thumbnails for other ones that I was going to watch. 
and they seem a lot more harmful. At the end of the day, what a man does with his balloons is between him and his balloons, you know? <laughs> I'm not saying it's it's super healthy or anything, but also he's not really hurting anyone. <laughs> I can't believe I, I'm playing devil's advocate for the, a man and his balloons. If they're still floating, I'll let them float until they fall. If they're already, you know, fallen, then I'll untie them and powder them, put them in a bag. When you when you say powder, I'm yeah, what? talcum powder, talcum, talcum powder, powder. That keeps what? From sticking together. Okay. All what? Right. Okay, maybe he is putting a lot of time into this. Like between the rescuing <laughs> and talcum powdering his balloons and building his balloon fort. Now I have desperately tried to defend this man, and I don't know why. So when you take care of him, it's involving talcum powder and and desiccant in a seal mill bag. Y'all, right. yeah, I'll be showing you. Okay. And he's like, no, no, I don't want to see. He's he's gone in so deep now. He thought he'd be ashamed and like not admit all of this, but right away he's admitting everything. He's like, I'm gonna show you. I'll show you the balloons. You can do it with me. <laughs> and I've got some that's over 40 years old. Really? Oh my God. He has balloons that are older than me. Have you ever thought about going and 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 talking to somebody about? It? I don't have a problem. Right, right. So, why be concerned? Everybody's trying to make me think like I got a problem. I yeah. don't. Yeah. <laughs> Give it up. <laughs> you know, he's kind of a defensive now. He doesn't like that people are questioning his balloon, his balloon uh, hobby, I would call it. Would you be willing to go and, and, and talk to somebody? Okay. But I've he seen will? a psychologist before, and about the only thing he said to me is, well, you're not hurting anybody, so why worry about it? Okay, uh, I, unless your psychologist is me, I don't know if I believe that entirely, or at least you're cherry picking, because while I agree with you, you're not hurting anyone, it's like there's gotta be some underlying thing there. Uh, look at me, beckon armchair psychiatrist here, like, I, I, who am I to judge? I don't know. Yeah, maybe it's fine. Maybe it's healthy. Maybe we should all love balloons just a little bit more. Or a lot bit more, in this case. I see nothing wrong with loving balloons, and I'm going to continue to love balloons, because that's what makes me happy. That's the moral of the story. I can't really even be mad at him. I think the only person who could be mad at him is probably the car dealership that he keeps stealing their balloons. Because <laughs> that must be getting pretty annoying <laughs> that he keeps coming to them and saying like, I'm rescuing them <laughs> and just stealing all of your balloons. This one, I am very interested to see the comments because I feel like I was playing devil's advocate the whole time, but I also feel like I'm kind of right. Is it the end of the world? No. Is it a little bit weird? Yes. <laughs> Wait, I, I better bring him back in. All right, let's go, buddy. Come on. Let's go see what the story is. Let's see what the comments have to say. Sit up here. Sit up. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> this looks like I'm a hostage or something. Well, the first one is my wife thinks it's strange. Oh my god, what the fuck he has a wife? The same reaction as I did. Woman gives a pecan to him. Thanks, walks out. <laughs> oh, that is a brilliant comment. This is a really perverted ending of the movie. Oh, no. Thank you. Someone else is confused with the math. Like, it wasn't even close. And it made me doubt myself. That's the sad part. Oh, no. This is one of those ones that, like, I just, I can't read. <laughs> I just can't. I can't do it to myself, but I'll let you read it. I like these kind of comments because they're so out of the box. Imagine a murder walking in and being like, well, what the hell? <laughs> you just come in, he's sleeping in his balloon fort. It can take a lot of abuse. This statement made me think about balloons in ways I never imagined. My soul is forever sullied. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that was included, but... Um... He was basically saying that he doesn't inflate them to full capacity because they can take more abuse. He seems so sweet and his addiction really doesn't hurt anyone. Just let him live. You know what, Emma? I tend to agree with you. <laughs> let him live. Fuck, we gonna do kill him? <laughs> oh, that's great. But Emma, I know we're saying he doesn't hurt anyone, but let us not forget those poor car dealerships who are getting all their balloons stolen. But I think we are going to end it there. Off you go. Off to bed.
Don't let him see that <laughs> or I'm going to be in trouble. I hope you enjoyed the video and your soul didn't physically leave your body and you're still doing okay. Let me know if you enjoyed this one. I'd love to do more stuff like this. So just let me know. I'm kind of toying with the format a little bit. Uh, if you're new, please subscribe. We'd love to have you around. Regulars, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you all next time. Bye for now.